Times says the project aims to reframe American history. It is an examination of the United States' origin story, a corrective history. It is designed to kickstart conversations, thus that hashtag I just mentioned, 1619 Project Brunch. We're now to some major news out of the NFL. A source telling ESPN that Washington's NFL team retiring its controversial nickname. The Aunt Jemima brand is getting erased. The name and logo are being dropped from all products, including the iconic pancake mix and maple syrup. Within hours of the Aunt Jemima announcement came word that Uncle Ben's rice would get a new brand identity, too. New tonight, the Phoenix City Council voted to change the name of streets that they find offensive. Barnes and Noble is facing backlash over its diverse editions of classic novels. Some to mention, like Peter Pan, The Secret Garden, are being displayed with new covers. The characters on the books are being reimagined as different ethnicities. This announcement. Day. Twitter dropping the programming terms master, slave, and blacklist from its code. Master and slave are going to become leader and follower, while blacklist will become deny list. Reference. Watch this. I have never discriminated on the basis of sexual preference. Your sexual preference is an offensive and outdated term. So Merriam-Webster, the dictionary, uh, here's the old definition versus the new definition of sexual preference. Before it said orientation, sense, sexual preference. And now, after that exchange between the two of them on Tuesday, now it says offensive, so dumb. Uh, sense, sexual preference. What's your response? That is a child attacking her mother and father for the crime of insufficient loyalty to Black Lives Matter. Here's a 15-year-old from Louisiana called Isabella. There are many like her in America right now. I literally hate my family so much. It's just... They just try to argue with me that George Floyd... Does it, like, they're just trying to tell me that... Like, he, he deserved that because he did something wrong and that it was okay. That is not okay. And it's just making me so upset. I don't know why. I do not want to live here. I, didn't, I hate living in Louisiana. I hate living around these racist I just want to leave. Man. Think Trump is worse than Hitler? Yes. Yeah. Could be. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you say that? He's childish. Yeah. That's all I gotta stop. say. He's trying to stop, you know, like food stamps. People need those. Do you think that ending food stamps is as bad as killing like six million Jews? Mm. He did that? <laughs> yeah. 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 He killed That's Jews. Why he He's on a just destroy the planet. And built that wall, yeah. Well, they did a Harvard study, and actually a, a judicial system study as well, and they found that there was no racial bias when it came to police shootings last year. Yeah. When you guys hear that, what does that make you think? Cap. <laughs> Cap. They did a study that showed that cops are actually 18 times more likely to be killed than an unarmed black man is to be killed by the police. Hmm. Cap. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is cap. Let's do it. Do you think the gender wage gap is real? I do. How do you stop the gender wage gap? That's a great question. Um, I think we have to take a look at our government and our understanding of capitalism and consumerism and kind of start working there and work backwards. If you had like a business, you know what I mean, and they could pay women 77 cents for every dollar that a man would make, that would be like capitalism. So they would hire all women. Uh, I suppose in a sense I'm following what you're saying, but...
gentrification. I'm not talking about students who come here and pay cash to go to NYU. I am talking about the people who go to a methadone clinic down the street. And you think this is a protest? But in today's culture, just a simple social media post from years ago can prevent you from getting a job. Is that fair? Tonight, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn goes 360 on the rise of what's being referred to as cancel culture. You may have never heard the term cancel culture. It's somewhat of a boycott of a person who has done something that other people find objectionable. It can also be someone just like you and me. Putting something out there that can probably offend somebody. So I often caution people, especially young people, students, uh, about what they place on social media because that is their professional image and picture forever. Cancel culture is a form of boycott or public shaming of a person who has shared a questionable or unpopular opinion. 